It's a great pleasure to have this opportunity to give you a glimpse into our retail CBDC solution, GND Filia. Thinking to the past couple of years and what lies ahead of us with the introduction of central bank digital currencies, it's an extremely exciting time for us and a very critical one as we move towards reshaping fundamentally what money is. Looking at the benefits, value and innovation a CBDC can potentially bring, it's important to consider that all these new opportunities benefit all of society. About 1.7 billion people today still remain outside the formal financial system, meaning they lack an account with a financial institution. In Indonesia, unbanked citizens account for an estimated 66% of its population. For this segment of society, their only means of payment is cash or mobile money. However, the digital revolution is dramatically changing how we pay, with digital payments becoming increasingly the norm. But this is only possible with a bank account or mobile phone, and of course, network connectivity. There is currently no publicly provided digital means of payment. Going cashless would mean to have only access to money created by the private sector with profit-driven incentives. A trusted currency, secure and efficient payments are core public goods. But how can we bring forth a universally accepted public currency into the digital world that is accessible to everyone and can be used anywhere? We are confident that a CBDC would be a powerful tool to accelerate the process of greater financial inclusion if designed in the right way and diligently implemented. Enabling financial inclusions was one of our key objectives when we set out to design a CBDC. This not only drives economic growth, but it unlocks people's potential to participate fully in the economy. Motivated by how a well-designed central bank digital currency could benefit society, we developed GND Filia. From the beginning, we envisioned a CBDC with cash-like features, such as the capability to pay offline to enable secure consecutive offline payments when no network connection is available and even when the lights go out. We're very proud to announce that we have now taken this challenge from concept to reality. We are currently conducting a pilot with the Bank of Ghana in different locations. Enhancing financial inclusion is one of the bank's strategic goals with their CBDC, the e -SADI. So one of the locations takes place in an off-grid rural area to test one of Filia's unique features of consecutive offline payments. Participants include small independent merchants and local consumers using basic low-cost smart cards. Currently, about 84% of Ghanaians have stable access to electricity and only 53% have access to the internet. The eSADI would make a tremendous contribution to their citizens and economy. I'd like to give you an idea of what can be possible with Filia. Here's a use case of a dual offline payment between two smart cards enabled using our battery powered device. The Filia protocol ensures the mutual authentication between offline wallets and guarantees that only verified wallets can participate. In simplest terms, a payment occurs when one piece of cryptographic data is transferred from the secure element from one wallet to another. Filia functions as an innovative platform where we can deliver new gains and efficiencies in situations where the underserved need it most. Programmable features, for instance, could enhance financial inclusion through CBDC stimulus payments, which could even serve as an on-ramp for many into the digital economy. These transactions can take place purely offline. However, the Filia protocol also caters for payments between online and the offline world. And none of these transactions require a bank account, neither from the payer nor from the payee. CBDCs present a historic opportunity to transform the future of money. However, confidence and trust is key, and a truly inclusive Central bank digital currency is the foundation to preserve that trust in our increasingly digitized world.